January 16th and 17th, 2014. Neighbors call 911 after finding a baby in a car left in a bloody knife. Thursday, January 16th, 2014. The time, 2214. You have reached Montgomery County 911. Please do not hang up. An agent will be right with you. Montgomery County 911, what is the address of the emergency? It is uh, 19041 Cherry Bend Drive. 19041 Cherry Bend Drive? Mm-hmm. What's the emergency? I have a baby in a car. It's been here for what it's reported to me about 45 minutes. Uh, the mother came out. She reported that there was, she had something going on and she didn't want her baby to be in danger in the house. So now uh, it's a second report uh, that has come to my attention about the baby being in this vehicle. Okay. And, okay, what's your name? My name is... And are you like the manager there? No, ma'am. Are you just a citizen? I'm off please. I'm sorry. You need to back up off me, man. Hello? Okay, I'm getting. I'm getting ready to be. Uh, I'm being. I'm being uh, attacked by uh, two females at 19041. Okay, why are they attacking you? Because uh, they came to check on the baby out here. What What kind of vehicle is it? Um, it's a uh, blue. Looks like a Toyota. A blue Toyota. Is it an SUV? No, it's uh, it's a uh, it looks like a four door car. Okay, where are the ladies now? She's 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 trying to sit behind me. She's trying to do what? Hello. It's a blue Corolla. Okay, where are the ladies now, sir? They're still chasing me down. They're still chasing you down. Yes, they're walking after me. Do you live around there? Yes. What? Okay, you live in... 190401 Cherry Bend Drive. 190401 Cherry Bend Drive. Is that, that is correct. Okay, is there, an back up off me, ma'am. is there an apartment number associated with that? That is car? my business. Kid in the car for an hour is my business. Hi. A baby in the car for an hour is my business. Okay. Sir? Yes, ma'am. Is this an apartment complex? No, it's a townhouse. Can you please send us? Sir, the, uh, I have already sent a call. I'm trying to get more information, okay? Okay. Can you go inside of your house? Uh, no, I cannot. I'm now half a block away from the premises. Are they still following you? Yes, ma'am. What street are you on now? Uh, it's still in Cherry Bend. Do you see any weapons in their hand? Um, no. Okay, are they saying anything? No, she seems to be responding to internal stimuli. I'm sorry, she's what? Responding to internal stimuli. Which is what? Oh my goodness. So I'm asking you a question. Yes, but I can't tell you that when she's right in front of me. Okay. When you say internal stimuli, what does that mean? Say again? When you say she responds to internal stimuli, what does that mean, sir? She's talking to herself. She's what? Talking to herself. Okay, are there two people or are there just one? Uh, uh, right now there's one. There seems to be two other witnesses standing by across the street. Okay, do you know the other two witnesses? Uh, they're neighbors, not by name. Now, uh, taking the kids, one of the ladies has taken the kids and brought them inside the house. Okay, what's the address of the house that they went inside? 19041. Okay, and what is your address, sir? I'm not going to give you that right in front of her. Thursday, January 16th, 2014. The time, 2219. Where are you standing now? Just down the block again. <clears throat> We're going to keep on walking all night, miss? 
Okay. What does she look like? Five five African American. Wearing a uh, under armor sweatshirt hoodie. What color is the shirt? To be about yellow or gold. Thursday, January sixteenth, two thousand fourteen. The time twenty two nineteen. Okay, and is she doing anything, like trying to touch you or anything like that? Yeah, she's raising her hand, like she's about to grab me. Okay, you're able to distance yourself from her, yes, right? Yes, yes, I can. And does she have anything in her hands? No, not at this time. I got two squad cars just up the street where I'm walking at. Do they see you? No, they're empty. They must be on a different call. Uh, MC-20612. <clears throat> Thursday, January 16th, 2014. The time, 2220. Okay. Are you still, are you on Cherry Bend Terrace or are you on Cherry Bend Drive now? At the corner of both. Uh, she's walking away from me. Thursday, January 16th, 2014. The time, 22-21. She saw the two police cars and she's walking away from me. Okay. Friday, January 17th, 2014. The time, 0923. Montgomery County 911, where is the emergency? Well, um, the, the emergency, I, please can I keep, just keep my name uh, and um, private? Okay, what's the address to the other house? Um, it's uh, 19041. Okay, do they need police, fire, ambulance there? Excuse me? Is there a need for police, fire, or ambulance there? No, I, the police, because in the car outside, there is a knife with the blood. The car have a door open. The house have the windows open up, up there. Um, I heard loud noises in the night. I just wake up and I, I heard like jumping and I didn't know they have four children. So I don't know if the kids are just doing that every day. So I, I didn't just think anything. But this morning when I just take my kids to school, I saw the knife with blood outside. I see the car with the door open. I see the windows open. So I don't know if something happened there. There's a, the knife is still there. I didn't touch. I just want to take my kids to school and come back quickly. Because okay. So the what color? What's the color make and model of the vehicle? The color is uh, blue, and the tag that I can see it from my house. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to open the door. I just made me <laughs> kind of a little nervous, but I never see something like this. Um, this is, um, oh. oh my God, I'm sorry. I have to open my door. It's nine, I guess, I need my glasses. Six, the number is six. MD 2032. And that's Maryland tag? The, yes, it's Maryland. Okay, you said the vehicle is blue. Do you know the make and model of that vehicle? It's Toyota. I guess it's Toro, Toyota Corolla. Okay, where where's the knife? Where did you see the knife? The knife is, is in the floor. There is, it's behind the floor in the car, just like somebody put it standing. And it's bloody as knife. Okay, it's on the floor. Is that the passenger side or the driver's side? It's in the front of the car. Okay, which side of the car? Very, very in the front of the top, you know, like standing in the floor. And then in, in, in the car, like somebody put it there, it's, it's a knife with a red, uh, the part where the holding is red. Okay, so it has a red handle. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't get too close. I just saw it quickly and uh, get my kids in the car and come back home and close my door. And, and I need to walk because there's many, many times I heard noises in there. Okay, what kind of noises did you hear? Like jumping, 
they have four children, and in the midnight, the, the, I heard like running, and and I told my husband, why? I can't believe those children have this waking at this time. It's it's, it's very frequently the kids are jumping and running. I, I don't hear them talk. Some, I hear them talk sometimes, but sometimes I just heard the jumping and running, and I don't know what happened. Okay, is this is this a house or an apartment that you live in? It, it's a house. Okay. This is it's a townhouse. It's oh, it's a townhouse. Okay, I understand. Yes. Okay. And you said the vehicle door is open. It's wide open at this time. It, it, it's still open. It's in the in the passenger, the back one, and the passenger. Okay. Because all right. And do, have you seen anyone around at all? I don't see. I see a little jack, a, a little children because there is two children. I don't know the ages. Okay. There is two little children. I see a little jacket in the floor too, and the other side. But I didn't walk around too because I don't want to just be too close to that. Germantown, Montgomery County, Maryland. Sakaya Avery, the mother of the children, was walking down the stairs with her eight-year-old son Martello, bleeding with stab wounds, when the police entered the townhouse. Monifa Sanford ran out the back door and was caught outside. Police found two-year-old Zaina and her one-year-old brother Norel stabbed to death in their mother's bed. Their older sister, Tanaya, who was five, was also stabbed multiple times but was still alive in another bedroom. Monifa and Zakaya attempted to break Norel's neck and when they were unable to do so, they started to choke him and eventually stabbed him multiple times. Even though three children were deeply stabbed over and over again, there wasn't much blood at the scene. They were wrapped in wet blankets. After the stabbings, the women took a shower together to wash the blood off their bodies. Then they proceeded to get the children's bodies ready to see God. Monifa and Zakaya met eight months before the murders at church and decided to live together. They were both members of Exocia Ministries, which was a tiny Christian congregation. Monifa and Zakaya told investigators that they started what they believed to be their own mission for God and were called the Demon Assassins. There were only four members which had order and rank. Zakaya was the commander and Ovita was sergeant. Another Demon Assassins member named Troy was supposed to show up for the scheduled exorcism, but he never did. The next day, the women decided it was time as they were convinced there was a demonic spirit that evaded all the souls of the children in the home and said their eyes were turned pitch black. Zakia and Manifa were charged with two counts of first-degree attempted murder and two counts of first-degree murder. The prosecution said in Zakia's records that they show she was involuntary commitments for psychiatric delusions and Manifa had a history of suicide attempts. Both women were sent to get extensive mental tests to see if they were competent to stand trial. The captain of the Montgomery County Police Department, Marcus Jones, said, We believe that she knew she did something wrong. However, neither woman shows outwardly remorseful for what they did, despite Hollywood's betrayal of exorcisms and witchcraft. Avery's townhome was remarkably normal. There were no candles, documents, or literature. Nothing indicated a ritual had been held. Family and friends said both women were affectionate, nurturing, and are in complete shock of what happened. 90-year-old Ida Johnson, the grandmother to the children, said their lives were cut short and they had no say whatsoever. It doesn't make sense. I don't know what was going on between the family. All I know is they were sweet kids. It's heartbreaking. Something should be done about who did it. But at the same time, it's not going to bring the children back. I just hope they get what they deserve. Sylvia Wade, the step-grandmother, said, I don't know what triggered it. She said she wasn't herself. When a person is not of themselves, they are not responsible for what they are doing. They are in another zone. Martello and Tanaya both recovered from their stab wounds. In 2015, Monifa Sanford was found not criminally responsible and committed to a mental institution. In 2016, Zakaya Avery was ruled to be criminally insane during the killings and was sent to a maximum security psychiatric hospital. Under Maryland law, she could be released if she is found not to be a risk of herself or others. She quit taking her medication before the murders, believing that God had cured her. Some the defendant will be asking his court to release her from a psychiatric institution, Judge Terrence McGann said. If the only guarantee this court has that Ms. Avery won't slaughter other children in the future is her compliance with a strict regimen of antipsychotic medication, I don't foresee that day when this member of the court will take that risk.